Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on the Mike of Mike, the premier business radio program around. I'm your host, Mike King. I appreciate you being here with me. Uh, the views expressed here in mind have no connection to support of agreement with any other host information ads on the station. I don't work for the station. My program just airs here on a daily basis. So join me as our cutting edge show. We uplift the community and showcase RVA in a different way. The sounds you're listening to is coming to you from the Mike King Biz. You're still going? Yeah, it's dope. All righty, on the mic of Mike, ESPN Richmond, that's where we are. So uh, this is the Poplar Springs Hour right here. You know how we do, we kick it off with Poplar Springs. Well, it's not Lamar today, but they always bring the coolest people. Last week we had the pastor and they were talking about an event that they had coming up that was uh, Stop the Violence down in, in uh, Petersburg. But today we got a new guest in, a friend of Poplar Springs. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. Glad to be here. All righty. So I uh, always say it's a business show. So tell us who you are and what you do. Okay. I'm Morris White. I'm the new Northeast District Director with Virginia Cooperative Extension. And so I was uh, ready to say, okay, that sounds, that sounds <laughs> important. Hold up a second, man. Let me just straighten up. All righty. So I heard the 4-H in there. Yes, it is home of 4-H. So uh, pretty much it's a partnership between Virginia State and Virginia Tech where we provide outreach into the communities across the state of Virginia. And we have three major program areas of 4-H, youth development, family consumer sciences, agricultural natural resources, and we also do community viability. So what you say, you have programs that are in cities and, and in the rural areas as well. Yes, in the urban and or, um, rural areas we're located in. Does, does the programs change from the urban areas to the rural areas? Like what is really... I guess the dominant one. Gotcha. So one thing we really go in and do is we do a situational analysis. So pretty much our programs are tailor-made to that community needs. We're going to survey the community to find out what they need. Uh, one focus program that you're going to see in like most communities will be 4-H. And so that's one of the programs that most people know us for. Uh, the Clover, the youth program, 4-H camp. That's what we're usually known for, our 4-H program. Alrighty, so uh, being from Pennsylvania, 4-H uh, was always big uh, where, where I grew up at. It, it, I don't know if we hear it about it as much anymore. Let's talk about how important it is and why it's important. Oh, wow. 4-H is an awesome program. I started out as a 4-H agent before I became the district director. And so 4-H 